The bell jukes arose and Mbappe's turtle mask is blinded him from scoring because that performance was almost as boring as England. Now I know there was a goal in it in the 90th minutes, but Jesus Christ, France at the moment looks shite. And Belgium, there was a bit unlucky. Obviously, I thought <sighs> to take some goo -goo -goo. that um, the referee was terrible. He was awful. Some of the decisions, like booking Vertonghen for diving, when I'm pretty sure he, he catches his leg. And a lot of these decisions where he's giving out yellows, like there's no tomorrow, he's booking people for diving, making the wrong decisions. It was a terrible refereeing performance, and he almost clouded the game. France, they had the more possession. They dominated the ball for a lot of it. Belgium, at times, had a great outball and was pressuring well. Lukaku having that chance. De Bruyne having that chance later on in the game. And then it snatched away with them when Mwani shot. It deflected off a tongue in the knee to go in for another own goal. He is top goal scorer at the moment. Nine goals, I believe, own goals scored. It is crazy. Imagine him being top goal scorer, nine goals, insane. And that is what killed Belgium off in the end. They will be disappointed because I felt like France were there to be got at. And if they'd have just took one of their chances, you know, Doc, who was so impressive, he had Kunde on the ropes. And yes, he did defend well at times. I think he got player of the match. Doku, you know, he was the only one that sort of looked like making anything, creating anything, running at people. The others, they just didn't have that clinicalness and they couldn't quite get it to Lukaku. Saliba played very well. I thought the France defence was very good, but the attack, hmm, I don't know. They, there was progress a lot of the times, but as I've said, they still haven't scored from open play yet. They do look a little bit um, vulnerable in terms of scoring, not being able to score that many goals and... If someone could pick the pockets with them, I don't think they're the favourites. Right now, Spain are the favourites because Germany obviously beat Denmark with a few dodgy VAR decisions. England are playing shit. I, Spain are the only one that are just train running through teams and just, you know, smashing them all up. So I, I would believe Spain versus Germany. I could see Spain probably winning that. And the front should be against Portugal. But if they're not, then they've got a nice route to the semi-final. But... I can see him losing as well, so they didn't perform well, and it was a pretty dead game. The referee was taking all the stars, really. It would have just been about him and his shit performance, but it was that goal in the end, which is unlucky for Belgium because they defended really well, played decent enough to take that to extra time, and Vertonghen's going to be kicking himself, hitting off his knee. There's nothing you can do, really, but it's a good, great pass by Campe, just straight in, quick, zips it across the floor. And Mwani can do his thing. So the subs work for France again. And Mbappe, I believe he said the mask does his head in. And at the moment, he doesn't seem like he's having the best year. As we saw him light up the World Cup. And there's just something about his France team that at the moment they've not clicked. But have they not got out of fourth gear? Maybe there's another gear to go. We'll have to see. But as I said, I don't really see them being like a threat. If England played them in the final, wow. I don't expect them to get to the final, to be honest. I expect it'd probably be Spain, if I'm brutally honest. But we'll have to see. I think that winner out of Spain and Germany should probably go all the way. That will be an absolute cracker. But yeah, France must progress. We'll see how they do. Some great saves from my man, to be fair, to deny Belgium. He kept them in the game when they were lacking a little bit of um, belief. And overall, it was like a typical England game. Just maybe chances, but nothing big. I think they had a few shots on target, which we didn't do. Doku was amazing. Mbappe... Stang out of the gaff, to be honest, and it was that own goal which did it all for France. So they progress. Didier Deschamps will be doing very well. He'll be um, happy, won't he, for his performance so far. So we'll have to see how they do now. It'll be interesting. I thought Theo Hernandez was very good, and their defence was really solid. And obviously, if you keep clean streets in this tournament, you're going to go a long way. And that's the, the difference, I think, between France and in England. England's defence are a little bit ropey, whereas France, even if they don't score, they can keep clean sheets. And that's what they did today. Managed to find a way through, and as a results business in it, obviously they played semi decent football, better than England it was, but the goals weren't there. So we'll have to see how they do in the quarter final. Will they get through it being Portugal? We'll have to see how their performance is going to go, and it's all up in the air. But that side of the bracket is looking juicy, especially that Spain Germany game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.